world more than you love God, that's a devil. I believe you can cast that devil out in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't have to let the devil stay in your house. You don't have to let the devil stay in your spirit. You can cleanse your spirit. You can, if you've got a hard spirit, if you're, uh, if you're uh, agitating people, if you uh, have no softness in you, you have no love of Christ in you, uh, uh, you can say a sharp word, you can get mad at the drop of a hat before they drop the hat, you get mad, uh, angry, uh, you'll tell somebody off, give them a piece of your mind, that's probably why you have no mind left, because you can give too many pieces away. Amen. Some people, some people just claim crazy, they, they give all their mind away, they, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. No, don't give me a piece of your mind, give me some gospel. Casting out devils. You can cast out a devil in your life. I'm so mad I could bite a nail in two. Well, get the Holy Ghost in you, and your teeth won't come down. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, I feel like whipping them. Well, uh, get the Lord in you, and you'll stop that. Uh, uh, I just want to, uh, don't speak to anybody harshly. Don't speak to anybody with a hard voice. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't embarrass anyone. Don't chew anyone out. Uh, love the Lord, love his people, forgive, be tender, be kind, be sweet, because you were in the world where it was dog eat dog, but thank God you're not in the world right now, you're in the house of God, cast that devil out, cast him out, how do you cast devils out, the word of God will cast it out, the word of God will reprove it, praise the name of the Lord. Somebody said, oh, I've got the Holy Ghost. That's that new tongue. No, I don't believe Jesus was referring to that. Uh, that's tongues. That's tongues. Tongue. See, but when he was, that's cloven tongues. Oh, yes. But when he said uh, that you'll speak uh, with new tongues, uh, uh, he was referring to a new lifestyle yes. of your language yes. and your words yes. and your speech. Yes. They shall speak with new tongues. Of course you'll speak with other tongues. That's the Holy Ghost. Other tongues is the Holy Ghost. The gift of tongues is language. And you'll speak with the gift of tongues, and you'll speak with other tongues, and you'll speak with a new tongue. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The other tongues is cloven tongues of fire. That's the Holy Ghost. Then you'll speak with that. A Holy Ghost child will speak with other tongues, and then they'll speak with uh, the gift of tongues, that's languages, uh, that God will give you. Brother Bob Shelton, preacher, old-time preacher, I knew his brother, but I didn't know Bob. But I, he, he was standing one day in southern Illinois, and he didn't have a high school education, and God said to him, Brother Bob, I want you to go to Jerusalem and be there many years and be a missionary. Uh, the Lord said to them, I'll give you a new tongue. I'll give you tongues. And he said, I can't speak the language. I don't have any way to get over there. Uh, how can I get there? This was back during the 1920s that this experience stayed there until the 1930s. And God said, I'll make the way. God had a man pay for his ticket on a steamship. I uh, went eight days or seven or eight days across to Israel. And when he got there, he said, Lord, I can't speak the language. I don't know how to speak. And the angel of God spoke to him. Come on. These experiences are real. Yes, sir. You, you know, the church is living on a diet right now. They shouldn't have to live on. Did you know the church ought to get back in a spiritual place uh, where God can heal our sick, uh, where God can heal our tongue, where God can heal our spirit, and the church show the world that there's something that's called a light? A city set on a hill that can be hid. Praise the name of the Lord. And Brother Bob, uh, the Lord said to him, walk off this. I got you here. I brought you here. And you're going to stay here. He said, I can't speak the language. I don't have a place to live. He got down to the foot of the uh, ramp. And uh, 
a porter was standing down there, taxi fella, and looking at him, all of a sudden, Bob, Brother Bob opened his mouth, and out come a language he didn't know what he was saying. He was looking at the luggage, and he didn't know what he was saying. This fellow reached down, got his luggage, said, come on. Whatever he thought. And, 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 and when, it, when, when it, it got into the car, right. took him to the hotel, right. and uh, he went in the hotel, and this fellow began to speak to the desk clerk, tell him, they gave him a key, had a room, uh, and, and he never, never understood a word that he was saying. But every time he'd think, God would take that tongue yes. and speak to it. Yeah, he stayed there for 17 years <laughs> and never studied the language. He never went to a school, but every time he'd open his mouth, the Holy Ghost would come on him and he'd speak a new tongue. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen, amen. You want to ask your brother Rhodes said, how big is our God? How big is our God? The church ought to come back to how big God is. He's big Let's go make him a court God. Call a Pentecostal a court God. Let's let him be God. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not going to church tonight because somebody said I wasn't even a part of it. Would you rather believe the devil, believe a liar, believe God? Did God add you to the church? Did God put you in the church? Did God give you the revelation of the church? Then why let anybody stop you? Just come on and find your place and serve the Lord and do his will. Praise the name. Did God give you a gift? Well, you don't have a gift. I know you're doing that, but you're, you're not qualified for that. Don't let them tell you, or let God tell you. If God told you, go ahead and do what God told you. Praise the name of the Lord. Well, I don't sing like they do. I don't sound like they do. Who told you ever had to sound like? All you have to sound like is, is heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord. I'm not them. No, you're not them. But you're an individual member of the body of Christ. And God brought you and put you in. The bride is getting herself ready. And, and uh, here he said uh, uh, in verse 7, uh, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to them, him, for the marriage of the, everybody say it with me, the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife. And his wife. And his wife. There's only one woman making herself ready right now. That's the true church. The rest are playing church. But there's a woman, a woman of virtue, that's making herself ready. The Lord knoweth them that are his. There's a remnant church that's preparing themselves for the coming of the Lord. Let me get through this. I won't get the folks in here and let them have a part. Um, but uh, I thank God for inspiration, and I'll, I'll get back on it again. God will give another time. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. My goodness. And to her, the woman is going to marry him. The woman is going to marry him. She's making herself ready. You know, there wasn't ten women making themselves ready. The day that Sister Morrow and I got married, December the 28th, he still remember, praise God. <laughs> December the 28th, 1958, I just knew up at that church where I was to meet her. She was to appear and I was going to be there. Couldn't see her until the time of the wedding. I just knew that I wasn't going to walk in there and see a, a, another woman. She's the woman that was preparing to marry me. She was to be my wife. And I believe the bride members of the bride of Christ, wherever they are right now, whoever they are, is not fooling around, getting mud on them, getting their dress dirty, getting their garments soiled. I don't believe they're out here running around. I believe they're in the army of the Lord. I believe they're preparing. I believe they're using their time. 
I believe they know if they don't get ready, they won't be in the wedding. Amen. They won't be the wife. Praise the name of the Lord. Right. But I believe the wife is preparing herself because the Bible said she was. The Bible said that his wife has made herself ready. What do you mean, Brother Marlon? Make yourself ready. I believe the bride of Christ, that's not the church. I, I, that, that's not. You think he's going to marry what's called the whole church? He's got a problem. There's some tares in the church. You think he's going to marry the tares? No. They're in the church too. That's right. He's not going to marry the tares. He's not going to marry the whole church. No, but there's a remnant. There's a very elect. There's a group within. Ezekiel said there's a wheel within the wheel. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed are you if you're sitting out there hearing me preach right now and you know that God has separated you from the rest of the crowd and you know there's a little more drive in you, there's a little more prayer life in you, there's a little more stamina in you, there's a little more bearing in you, there's a little more charity in you, there's a little more holiness in you, there's more righteousness in you, there's a desire in you that you're not going to let anybody turn you around or separate you, you're going on with God. You're going to get all that God has for you. You're going to get all the understanding He can give you. And you know that. And nobody is going to discourage you. And nobody will have to put you in a spiritual nursery, hand you a rattler to pacify you, or a, a numbing numb, uh, you know, to keep you. Uh, but you know that God has said to you, you'd rather die on your way to the church You'd rather die in the sea. You'd rather die praying for an ill saint. You'd rather die trying to wash the feet of a brother or sister than you would one minute in the world because the Bible said, the 11th chapter of Hebrews, Moses, when he was come of years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, esteeming the reproaches of Christ greater than all the treasures of Egypt. Yes, so praise the name of the Lord. He chose rather, he chose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Praise Amen. our God. Praise Amen. our God. Praise You're preparing. God. You're getting ready praise for the wedding. God. And the bride is going to put on the wedding garment and the wedding garment is really beautiful. You talk about uh, every now and then um, there's a program on television. I just get a glimpse of it. Uh, we'll be going to a news channel or something. Sister Marla kind of likes it. She likes pretty things. She likes bridal gowns and all of that. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not affected that way, but uh, uh, she is. And, and she'll be flashing up through there. And I, I see this... Um, and these beautiful gowns, and I ask her sometimes, I'll say, Ethel, how much is that costing her? Well, that, I think that's 3000 or that's 5000 or, or that's 6000 Isn't that beautiful? I said, yes, it is. It is. But my, I got to thinking about that. My wedding garment is going to cost me more than that wedding garment ever cost them. Yeah. Because I have to give my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to give your whole life. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. You gotta give your whole life. If, if you give your whole life, you become a disciple, then to you is granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. And everybody said, praise the Lord. I'm gonna stop right there because if I don't stop right there, I'll go on through the afternoon. And I'm Brother Johnson, are, are, are you ready to uh, greet the people here and uh, lift your voice? Uh, we are really glad you're here. Before you come, before you come out, that way you won't be interrupted. Uh, I, look, our little children over here, they've waited patiently. You all have that song ready, young people? You got that song ready? Well, come on, come right up here and sing a song. 